Cromwell, you know, this can lead to dictatorship. So no standing arming, uh, freedom of speech. You can't be locked up for what you're saying. And then habeas corpus. The crown cannot just make people disappear. You have to bring charges on people within 24 hours of arresting them. So you have a new king, William of Orange, now king of England. And uh, he still rules over Holland. Holland, also known as the United Provinces, also known as the Dutch, also known as the Netherlands, just to confuse you. And it's at this time that um, he's gathering a league, a League of Augsburg, against King Louis XIV. Louis XIV is waging war on the continent, and someone's got to stop him. And it's going to be William of Orange, William, King of England, to create a league, the League of Augsburg, against Louis XIV. You can't stop him. You can only hope to contain him. France is that powerful. And this also has a religious aspect. When we get to Louis XIV later on, you'll see this, that Louis XIV is seen as a Catholic crusader. He's probably not. Historically, we recognize he's probably not a Catholic crusader. But these are Protestants, you know, fearing uh, more religious wars. And it sometimes looks like Louis XIV is waging war against Protestants, but he's really not. It just seems that way. He'd been uh, also in, back in France crushing the Huguenots. So uh, that wasn't good. It's seen by other people. Well, England will join the war, join the League of Augsburg. And uh, from this period, 1689 to uh, 1715, um, actually all the way to 1815, England and France, if you're wondering when England and France become kind of mortal enemies, it's about this time, the wars of Louis XIV and extending all the way into the wars of Napoleon from 1689 to 1815, even seven major wars against France. <coughs> 